Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are just joining me now then I would love it if you would stick around and hit the subscribe button. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the Tanologist brand. My mum got me this for Christmas and it's got quite a few little bits in so I'm going to show you. It's got the self tan mousse in dark and it came with a mitt and also the face drops. The face drops didn't come with this. She had to order that separately but it all came in the same box. And then this I'm really excited to try out I was reading it last night and it just sounds so so good I think what it does is when you need a little touch up um, it only lasts about 24 hours so it's not a long lasting one but I think if you were on holiday or say your fake tan your mousse was like say on its last legs you could put this on say if you just needed it for like the last day you could put this on and I think it'll just even it out a bit that's what I'm guessing it does anyway and also I just think I what how I'm going to use it is when I've used when I've used this mousse when I wash it off in the morning depending on how dark I am if I want a little bit extra colour I'm going to put this on top because I think that'll just make it a little bit darker so first product I'm going to be trying out is the drops because if I was to do the whole of the mousse first you have to wash your hands straight after you've applied this which makes sense because if you're rubbing it on with your fingers and then you're gonna have orange hands aren't you so I'm gonna do this first and then I'm gonna use the mousse so it says that you use 1 to 12 drops added to your moisturizer and obviously the more drops the more dark you'll be I'm gonna do 12 I'm gonna give it a go I don't know if that's gonna be too much but I'm gonna do 12 drops and I'm just going to add it to my moisturiser. I'm going to leave all this on overnight. I know it says, it does say one to four hours on the mousse. It says like an ex it's an express one, so you can leave it one to four hours. But it does also say that the longer you leave it on, the darker your tan is going to be. So I'm going to leave it on overnight. And I'm guessing this is the same. It does say, you, it does say, do a patch test 24 hours before but yeah I'm not going to do that we'll see if I come up in a massive rash so I'm just going to grab my moisturiser I'm going to mix this in with my moisturiser I'm just going to be using the Elemis overnight cream don't know if you can see that this is my favourite moisturiser so I'm just going to use this and it isn't night time obviously right now but I don't want to be putting my day cream on right now because it does have SPF in and I'm not going to be leaving the house and if I put an SPF on my face now I do feel like you need to wash it off you can't leave an SPF overnight it's going to be a bit I think SPFs are a little bit more um, clogging on the skin so I am just going to be mixing a little bit of this in so I'm going to use about that much I think or maybe a little bit more Ooh. about that much I'm gonna put I'm a bit nervous so I'm gonna put that on the palm of my hand oh I should have opened this first mm. oh god okay I've just got it all over the bottom of the jar that's clever so I'm gonna squeeze it oh gosh squeeze oh sugar oh it's a bit sticky seeming Seems a bit sticky. Oh gosh. Okay. One. Ooh. Two. Can you see that? How like stringy it is? Three. Okay, that's eight. Oh gosh, I'm not even showing you. 9, 10, 11. Should I do 12? No, I'll do 11. We'll do 11. Okay, so rub that between my hands. It don't feel bad when you're rubbing it. It feels quite silky, nice. Should have took my glasses off. This is going to be... Oh my god, and I haven't put my hair up. What an idiot. Okay. Oh gosh, okay. This is going to be hard. Why didn't I put my hair up? Oh no. I really don't want to get it in my hair. So before this, I have done all the bits that you need to do before you fake tan. 
I had a bath, soaked out my skin and I exfoliated in the bath and I just use a tiny, I know you're not supposed to use body exfoliator on your face, that's probably the worst thing you can do. I just use a tiny, tiny bit on my face because I don't want my skin on my face to be, um, what do you call it? Crusty? No, not crusty. Dry, flaky, that sort of thing. And I don't have a exfoliator at the minute. This is kind of making my moisturiser a little bit like white casty, like not rubbing in as well as it normally does, but I'm just going to keep rubbing. What is it doing? Why do I look like I have um, sun cream on my face? I'm going to go and fix this. What I'm going to do is, I'm not even speaking to the camera, I'm going to go and fix this. I'm going to rinse my hands and I'm just going to rub in what is already on my face because I just have a feeling that I put too much moisturiser on and that is why I'm having this sort of white cast going on. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. It just took me forever to put my hair up and it was setting on my face whilst I was trying to faff with my hair. So yeah, it was a little bit harder to like then rub in because it started sinking in. So the whiteness of my moisturiser did fade and I just managed to rub it all in and I actually do quite like the glow that my skin is having right now. Not bad. So, I hope this turns out really nice. I am crossing my fingers. So I'm just going to use, I feel really out of breath, I don't know why. I'm going to use my Aveeno hand cream and I'm going to put that on now because the one part of my body that fates hand clings to, and I know this is everybody, is my hands and my hands are naturally quite dry anyway so I'm going to put on this very thoroughly and make sure it is all rubbed in because I do not want horrible fake tan hands with really brown knuckles. Okay so now that I have put some moisturiser on my hands I'm just going to be going in with my the lotion by Soap and Glory. This one is my absolute favourite moisturiser. It is so so nice. It smells like coconuts. I'm just going to rub that on my knees as you do and also I'm going to rub it on my ankles and my elbows because those are the places that I get most dry and so does everybody. I'm just going to put some on my ankles now and just all over my feet actually because my feet get really weird tan lines, they must be drier than everywhere else. Can I just say I absolutely love the Tanologist packaging, like how nice is this? So holographic, love it. Ooh, the mitt feels so nice as well. It's very velvety, like can you see that you can rub your fingers up and down and make marks? It's that nice velvet material. That's good. And the other side is just thin material. I do... Oh, inside is like... Um, what do you call this? Like a bit plasticky. So I'm guessing that they've put this on top of the sponge just so that it doesn't seep through onto your hands, which that's really good. I'm glad they've done that. I think it's so nice when brands actually think of that sort of thing when it comes to face tanning because you do not want, while you're doing your whole body, you pull your hand out of the mitt and then it's orange. So that's really good. So shake this up. Do you shake it? I don't know. I probably should have read that. Yeah, it just says once four hours for a spectrum of shades, increased tan. It's clean, vegan and organic. I love that it's vegan. That's amazing. And what else does it say? Blah, blah, blah. You should have used a patch test 24 hours before. Oh well. Oh gosh, I'm scared. So I'm just going to show you the top half of my body and then I'm going to do the rest off camera and I'll come back tomorrow morning and show you the results because I don't really think you need to see the whole of my body. It's the same all the way around, isn't it? So let's have a look. Ooh. Why did I forget this was clear? Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, I have my mirror here in front of me because I do not want to miss anywhere. Oh gosh, no, I don't want to get it on my hands straight away. I want to leave that to last. So 
so I'm gonna try my best. It says it doesn't have a smell, but it definitely does have a smell. I'm pretty sure it says it doesn't have a smell. Odorless technology. It does have a smell, but it's nice. It smells like um, body wash that you'd have in the shower. I like that. I don't know how many pumps you're supposed to put on, but I'm just going to do two. And I'm just going to whack that on. I really hope I don't miss anywhere. This is, this is the only problem I find with these kind of tans, is that I feel like... I'm not specialised enough in making sure that I don't miss anywhere. So we shall see in the morning if I have streaky spots all over my body. Hopefully not. That seems like a good amount that I've put on. And it does smell really nice. Yeah, like that. I'll leave my hands until last because pulling my hands in and out of the mitt, I just find that is what makes my hands streaky and not as even. So I always make sure I leave my hands until last. The only annoying thing about when I fake tan is like I get up for a wee in the middle of the night and obviously I like to wash my hands, as you do. And then your fake tan when your hands comes off if you haven't, you know, left it on long enough. So, I guess with those drops, and also with that 24 hour fake tan, if you do wash your hands um, in the night when you've had a wee or something, or you need to just wash your hands, then I'm guessing it'll be good to just apply a little bit of that on top if you think that you need a bit extra if you think that you've messed up and taken it off. Right, I'm gonna do my chest now. Oh gosh. This doesn't have the fake tan smell. Like I said, it is very much a body wash kind of smell and I really like it. It just smells really fresh. Do you, do you guys do your armpits? Let me know because I used to and then I kind of just whiz over it like that now and try not to go on it too much because I started when I started fake tanning I realized that I started getting rashes under my armpits and that is the only thing that I'd done differently was fake tanning so it must have been the fake tan and it wasn't just one of them it was any fake tan that I tried so I try and just go round like this. Oh, I'm gonna have a nip slip. No. I try and go round my armpit and then I just whiz over it and try and just not go over it too much because I don't want a rash. And it kind of, it hurts as well. It's like a burny kind of rash. I feel like I wouldn't be going over my body this much if it had a color because then I would know where I've been. But because it doesn't, I want to make sure I've got everywhere. I'm going to do my ears. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Oh, itch. This is how I do my back. I do this and then I sort of like hug myself and get anywhere that I can reach. I know you can get those um, long sticks that get your back, but that's effort and I can't be bothered buying one of those. Probably will in the future, but for now, this works fine. I just get as much as I can and then when I get to the bottom of my back, I can reach up high like this. I can't do this now because I need to take this top off, but I'm not gonna do that on camera. So this is it for now. I've applied it on the top half of my body and I'm gonna do the rest and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and show you the results. And yeah, so far, you can't see anything and it's a tiny bit tacky, but I haven't let it dry yet, so I'm guessing it will dry off. It gives your body, oh, did you see my knee? It gives your body such a nice glow though. I do think it's giving my skin such a healthy, lovely glow. I do feel like my face and everywhere, I just think 
Oh, it looks so hydrated. Anyway, so I will come back in the morning and show you just before I get in the shower so that you can see what the colour payoff is. Then I'll have a shower, then I'll come back and show you the results overall. So this is what I look like this morning. My hands look terrible. I do blame myself because yesterday around tea time I went to the toilet and I washed my hands and I thought, well, I'll just add a little bit extra on my hands. And instead of going back in with the mousse, I actually got my hand cream and I put five drops of the um, self-tanning drops. So I think that is why this has happened. So I'm going to scrub this in the shower and hopefully it'll look a bit better. But the weird thing is, I did wash my hands twice before I went to bed and they did not look like this. I thought, oh, they look a good colour, so I'll wash them now. And they have definitely carried on developing overnight, even though I washed them. So, yeah, I do recommend maybe sticking to the tanning drops on your face. Even though it does say face and body, I would say keep it to your face and then just use the mousse on your body. So, so I'm just going to go and wash it off now. And then I'm going to come back to you and we will apply this. Okay, so I've just got out of the shower and... It looks the same as it did when I went in, pretty much. I mean, unless you guys think it looks any different. But personally, when I got in the shower, nothing, like, no colour streamed off my body. It was just as if I was having a normal shower. So none of the colour that has developed overnight has come off my body. So I think that's really, really good. So then you know that whatever colour you get in the morning is the colour you've got. Like, you're not going to get in the shower and then be upset, like, oh, it's all going to come off and stream off in the shower. So that's really good. I've just put some gloves on because with these instant tans, like, I don't trust them because I know that it will get all over my hands and then I won't be able to wash it off. And let's be honest, you've seen these hands. They don't need any more. They don't need any more tan. So, oh, that smells nice. Oh, that smells really fresh. I love that. That smells a bit like the um, mousse, a little bit like showery like um body wash and stuff that smells really good so yeah let's have a look oh it's like um it's got like gold shimmers in it i'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but it has got gold shimmers in it so let's try this on one of my arms oh gosh oh that's nice That is such a nice colour, oh my gosh. Yes. So even though my hands look a mess, maybe this will sort of even it out. Like, as in, my hands look dark, but if my whole body looks dark, then maybe it won't look as bad. A little bit goes a long way. Like, I'm feeling like I can just spread this all across my chest. Okay, so that is looking so nice. You can definitely tell which side I've done and which side I haven't. Oh, I'm excited. That looks so good. So I'm going to do the rest of my body and then I'm going to do my makeup and I'll come back and show you the final result. So guys, this is the final result. I am so, so happy. I do think it looks so natural, so nice. And because of the gold shimmers in the instant tan, it has left my skin looking very glowy and just naturally really, really nice. I'm super, super happy. And I think with my makeup, I think it looks really nice. I just put on my tinted moisturiser and it is a little bit darker than what my normal skin tone is just so I can put it on when I have fake tan. Because normally, if I don't have any fake tan on, I don't wear foundation often. Or, and I don't really wear a BB cream or a CC cream or a tinted moisturiser, anything like that. So, I did go up a few colours when I ordered that. So, yeah, I've just put that over the top and I think it matches very nicely. And, yeah, I'm very, very happy. So, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.